A letter written by a former slave to his former master was resurfaced recently. The former master wants to appeal to his former slave to return back to his plantation to work. The slave replied politely and said thanks, but no thanks. He concluded with the words. He said, please say hello to George, who have taken a piston from you when you try to shoot me. In today's passage, Paul is appealing to the Galatians church. He said, we're no longer slave and we should never return back to slavery. We should have enjoyed our freedom in Christ right now. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is we're no longer slave. Paul uses the illustration at that time that a uh, young, ch young child who is a heir, but when he's under a certain age, he's under the guardianship. But when he reaches a certain age, he's free and he can now inherit all the blessing that he owes. Now, Paul is saying to them, we should never go back to the old former slave because we are heirs of God, because we are also children of God. The second thing I've learned is Paul appeals to the Galatian church because of his love. Paul is saying that I love you and I care for you. Remember, when I first reached your land, I was injured. You took me in and also you treat me generously and respectfully. Now, don't see me as an enemy right now because I speak the truth in love. Whereas the opponents, the legalists, just want you to be like them. So please, I appeal to you to live as a free person. The third thing I've learned is we do have a choice today. Paul uses another illustration about Abraham's two sons. Abraham has two wives, Haggai, who is a slave girl, and Sarah, who is a free woman. Ishmael, who is the son of uh, Ish of, uh, of Hagar, was born to be a slave, whereas Isaac was born miraculously, supernaturally from God's power, and he's a free man. Now today, we should live like a free person. We do have a choice, and it's silly for us not to choose that. My application today is, the letter from the former slave to his old master makes complete sense because there is horror and there's injustice under the bondage of works and slavery. And today we must choose to be free in Christ. We do have this choice and we must make this choice. We should live in joy and freedom under grace of God. If we live by faith each day, we should live like uh, adopted son of God. And because of that, we should deal with God's business, God's kingdom as our own business to share and proclaim his kingdom to the world. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for the freedom we have in Christ. Help us not to be slave again under the bondage of sin and of work and to proclaim your glory to the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.